The United Nations top official in Democratic Republic of Congo toured its conflict-hit eastern provinces for the first time in months. As public support for the agency's troubled peacekeeping mission, known as MONUSCO, sharply deteriorates. Binto Keita visited Bushagara, a camp housing 15,000 displaced people, and apparent goodwill gesture after an attack on a peacekeeper convoy at another camp in February. After speaking to some residents, she urged the government to do more to support the country's internal refugees. Le, la guerre, uh, a des conséquences. War has enormous consequences on people, and the consequences go beyond what we can see physically. It gets to people's mental health. Almost all the people we've seen, they've been in some way affected mentally. The government did not respond to a request for comment. Cater arrived ahead of a planned visit this month by members of the UN Security Council. An offensive by the M23 rebel group has displaced over 600,000 people since last year. It plunged the turbulent region into a fresh crisis. Locals and those who are internally displaced, like Augustine Samafa Manzabayo, are frustrated at the mission's perceived ineffectiveness. The problem is, instead of having the peace that was promised to us, we have quite the opposite. Since their arrival, it's now the fourth time I've fled the war. So we ask her for peace, for which she came here for. If we had it, we wouldn't be here now. Kata met with the military governor, Lieutenant General Constant Ndima, in closed-door talks on Monday. She said the meeting in Goma had focused on prospects for cooperation and implementing an existing ceasefire deal with the M23. But no details were given. Ndima declined to comment.